How is everyone doing? Welcome to VR Monday. Yesterday I uploaded a video on how to install custom songs on your Oculus Quest on Beat Saber. And number one, that video did really good. And number two, a lot of people were asking me how to install custom sabers. So I decided, you know what? The viewers want it, I'm gonna do it. So. Today, we are recording a video on how to install custom sabers on your Oculus Quest on Beat Saber 1.11.1. Yes, I confirmed that yesterday. It is 1.11.1. It is the latest version and everything seems to be working. But just before we begin the video, I have a quick message from our sponsor so that you have something to do when you're not swinging those sabers. Today's video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is the leading provider of audiobooks on the internet and I bet you have heard of them. They have thousands of amazing audiobooks to choose from and if you're like me, you you like to have something on in the background while you're working. Audible is great for that. I listen to Audible while I'm working on DIY projects, making thumbnails, or even just relaxing. Like right now, I am listening to a book called The History of the Future by Blake J. Harris. He is the author of Console Wars, and there's even a forward in there from Ernest Cline, who is the author of Ready Player One. So if you guys watch that movie, you know it's about virtual reality, you know this is what we do. This book is my thing, it's super interesting. Even though they are best known for their audiobooks, they offer so much more. As well as audiobooks, you have a huge selection of podcasts, guided wellness programs, theatrical performances, and of course, Audible exclusives that you will not find anywhere else. So why not try it out? With the link in the description, you get one audiobook and one month of Audible entirely free. Also, just before we actually move on to the video, the giveaway ended yesterday and all the winners have been announced. So if you were part of that giveaway, please check it out. I will be contacting all those winners today and congratulations to all the winners. You have won yourself a mini tool partition wizard key. And once again, thank you to mini tool for actually giving out those keys and letting me share them with you guys. I am hoping to do more and more giveaways as time moves on. Hopefully we have more sponsors. Hopefully we have more companies wanting to give us things to give away. Now let's move on to the video. This was requested a lot in yesterday's video. And of course, I want to give you guys content that you want to watch. So let's move straight in. First thing you're going to need is, of course, your Oculus Quest. So grab that. Make sure you have developer mode on. Make sure everything is working. You will also need BMBF installed. If you don't have BMBF installed, yesterday's video should help you out with that. Remember, you do not need a PC. For this, you could use a Linux machine, a Raspberry Pi, or even an Android phone, like I showed you guys in a previous video. Yes, you can actually sideload apps using just your Android phone or even run ADB commands. And I keep talking about this magical device called the Raspberry Pi. A lot of you guys may not actually know what the Raspberry Pi is, but the Raspberry Pi actually powers quite a lot of my smart home devices. So I'm just gonna grab one real fast and show you exactly what that looks like. This is a Raspberry Pi. As you can tell, it's tiny, it can run Linux, it can actually run ADB. So you could just be using one of these. They're about 25 euro in case you don't want to invest in a computer or don't want to invest in a new phone. If you want to go modding your Oculus Quest, you might want to invest in one of these. Once again, once you have BMBF installed, you will actually want to launch BMBF on your Oculus Quest and I will show you why in just a second. This will be necessary. You want to go into library, launch BMBF through of course Oculus TV right here and I will show you why you need to launch BMBF because once you launch BMBF we're going to be switching back to the computer or to your phone depending of course on what you're using. So once you're in BMBF you want to click into tools right up here in the top right and then you can see accessible via browser on 192.168.2.7858 thousand. Of course, your one will be different because that is my personal IP address. But then what you want to do is you want to switch back to your phone, your computer, whatever, and access that through your web browser. So let's do that. 192.168.78 colon 50,000. Just like that, you see right there on your computer, you have BMBF open. Perfect, because this is where you're going to install the mods. Now you could also install them straight from the Quest, but that is a massive pain. I would not recommend it. Just use your phone. Just You can even use an iPhone for this part. So once you have BMBF installed, you could actually use an iPhone to throw the apps in here. So you want to join the QSabers Discord, which will be down in the description below. It's called the Quest Saber Community. And perfect. So now that we have joined the Quest Saber community, you will actually need to download the Quest Sabers, of course. So go into the installation guide, grab the mod from right there. Uh, it will download, of course. And now you can go back to the BMBF web page that we were on. Grab your file and drag it. Of course, you could also click and select. But as you can see right there, mod is not enabled yet. So what you want to do then is you want to click into mods enable it right here, 
click enable mod and then click sync to Beat Saber. This has officially synced the working mod to Beat Saber, but this isn't us being done yet because this is just the mod being enabled. So what you want to do is you want to click back into upload and now is the fun part. This is where you get to choose your sabers. So you go into public queue sabers because once they're public, that technically usually means they're done and you find a saber you want. I'm just going to try this one, for example, but I'm going to download more than one just to later on be able to show you how to switch them. So I'm going to download this one as well. And there we go. So now you go back into BMBF, you drag them in just like you did the previous mod, just like that and just like that again. And now it says mod installed, as you can see. So now going back into mods, you can select one and only one of the sabers at a time. So I'm going to select this one, for example, right there. So the quest saber mod always needs to be active. And then apart from that, you always select one saber. So I have uh, this saber selected here now, and I'm going to click sync with beat saber. And now that has been saved. So let's jump straight into the quest and let's see whether our mods actually work, shall we? So library, Beat Saber. As you can see, I have my brand new custom sabers right here. Check it out. So now that we have the custom sabers active, downloaded everything, let me show you how you would actually change them. So you want to turn off Beat Saber, just like that. Go to library, you want to launch BMBF, and then in BMBF, you just go straight into the mods right here, and you see my custom sabers are active here, so I turn these ones off and turn these ones on instead. And now I sync to Beat Saber. And now let's start Beat Saber. And there you go, check it out. Brand new sabers right here. So as you can see, we have our custom sabers. So as you can see, that is literally how simple it was. You don't even need a computer once you have BMBF installed. You don't even need to have this connected even once to anything. It's all done completely warlessly. So there you go. You guys wanted it, so I made it. Right here, just for you guys, a tutorial on how to install custom sabers on Beat Saber on your Oculus Quest on version 1.11.1. .1. I hope I explained everything pretty well. I hope you guys could understand it. And that's going to be it. You can have all your cool custom sabers now on your Oculus Quest. Just download them from the Discord, choose whichever ones you want, and there you go. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys are not yet part of this community, but would like to join it, well, the Discord link's down in the description below. We have a lovely community on Discord, and we have a Reddit also down in the description below, so I would love it if you could go on there and post some spicy memes. If you guys want to be notified of future content coming up, I post tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays, and occasionally we have VR weekends. So if you guys want to be notified of that, if that floats your boat, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace. Where's my coffee? Oh. Forgot it. Forgot my coffee downstairs. Come with me, coffee. Ha! Huh, almost forgot my coffee. Okay, let's do let's do one of the really OG mug sips here at the end. This this is for all the people that were here since the very beginning. They know exactly what's up. So we're gonna we're just gonna zoom in. Wait, wait, wait. Peace out, 360p gang. See you again in the next one. Peace.